alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Hahn. I've still got loads of apples left from this year's harvest. So I'm going to use them to make a very delicious and slightly spicy chutney from apples, dates and ginger. So to make my chutney I've got four kilograms of cooking apples, one kilogram of sugar, 500 grams of dried stoned dates, yeah far out man, 200 grams of sultanas, 750 mils of vinegar, this happens to be some apple vinegar that I made last year, 100 grams of fresh ginger, four cloves of garlic thinly sliced, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of ground allspice. Pour the vinegar into a massive pan, pour, peel, halve and slice the apples quite thinly before adding them into the massive pan with the vinegar. Once all the apples in, add in the garlic, then bring the whole lot to a gentle simmer. Meanwhile we can peel and chop the ginger and the best way to peel it is simply with a teaspoon. Amazing isn't it? Once it's all nicely peeled, grate it quite coarsely. Lovely! By now the apples should be starting to turn to mush. So I'll cook this a bit longer to make them even more mushy. After about 25 minutes or so it should reduce to this lovely mush. Now we can add in the rest of the ingredients, the sugar, the sultanas, the dates, the salt and allspice and the ginger. Now give it all a good stir and bring it back to a gentle simmer. Now let it bubble and simmer away for at least half an hour until it becomes nice and thick. After about half an hour it should be dark and thick. Now we can put it into some hot sterile jars. While the chutney is still hot, spoon it into a hot sterile jar. Well, more than one really. I mean, all this isn't going to fit into one jar now, is it? Wipe the thread with a damp cloth to get any chutney off the thread. Then pop on a hot and sterile lid and now leave it to cool. And the lovely thing about this chutney is that you can taste mm, each of the ingredients in it. Mm. Well there's no prizes for guessing what my friends are going to be getting as a gift quite soon. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me Tiddly Nihan. Until next time, what a happens!